Now before we get into our last chapters of Juan, I want to take a moment and take you back to the first chapter of writing basic SQL statements and from the slide where we started. Now you have known about selection, how you can select any particular row that lies in any particular column easily by using select clause and where clause. Now there was also one concept of join and I told you that joining means joining two columns that lies in two different tables. And as long as I recall, I think I told you about that can only happen if you want to join your table one with your table two, you need primary key. Without primary key and foreign key, you cannot join your two tables. So now in this lecture, we are going to learn what is primary key and foreign key. But first primary key. Primary key is an attribute that can uniquely identify all the attributes of a given row and it cannot be null. Now, for example, we got this table of employee where we got three columns, employee number, employee name and department number. Now tell me which column could have primary key, which attribute can uniquely identify all the rows. Is it name or is it number or is it department number? Now let me give you a hint. I know that all of you must have a social security number or identity card number that is given by your country. And all of you have name, address, date of birth and gender. Now suppose this person lives in America and if I go certain he lives in New York City, America. His name is Alex. His DOB date of birth is 14 August 1947. His address is New York, America. Now there is one more person with the same name of Alex who has same DOB date of birth 14 August 1947. And the same address he also lives in New York, America. Now how can the government could differ these two persons when they have to issue them a passport because they both want to take a vacation and go to travel. So they have same DOB, same address and same name. So it will be tricky for a government department to issue them a passport which they can use to travel all around the world. So instead of put a mark on their skin, they issue them social security number and their social security number is different. Now a first person with a social security number of 549-649-982 can easily get a passport from government department and the second person with the same name of Alex DOB and address can also get a passport with his social security number of 923-923-469. Now there is no problem for government department and also for these persons when in future they have to present themselves in the situation like this because they have a social security number that can easily and uniquely identify each of the person regardless of their same name, regardless of their same DOB and same address. So now this social security number that is uniquely identifying these people is called primary key and no one has that social security number or primary key in their country. So their social security number is an attribute that can uniquely identify all the attributes means all their information, their name, their DOB, their addresses, their father name, etc, etc. So now finally the problem has been resolved by their social security number. So primary key is exactly as your social security number that could uniquely identify all of your information. So let's come back to our slide. So the primary key is an attribute that can uniquely identify all the attribute value in a given row and it cannot be null. So for example, we got the table of employee right here 
where you can see we got name department number and employee number now you tell me which of the column could be called as primary key right employee number why because employee number is like a social security number it is possible that two person with the same name with the same department could be in the same organization but their employee number can be different because one employee number could only be assigned to one person only so this column of employee number we can apply a primary key on this column and we will say that it cannot be null whether an employee have a department number or not he should have at least employee number so by looking at 7839 you can easily tell the name of 7839 and that is king and also you can tell his address department number his date of birth etc etc because this employee number is certain for only one body now then we got the foreign key so the foreign key is an attribute in one table whose value must either match the primary key in another table or be null now suppose you got two table first one is employee table and the second table is department table now if i ask you tell me the department name of my employee name of king now how can you do that you have to join these two table of employee and department to tell me the department name that is in my department table of my employee of king so i have to join these two table now look at these table and tell me what is the common column in both of these table is it employee number no because there is no column of employee number in my department table is it name no because there is no department name in my employee table so is it department number yes it is department number why because there is one column of department number in my department table and employee table as well so this department number column that lies in both of the table could help me combine these two table in either of the table i have to make one department number a primary key and the other table department number a foreign key because the foreign key is an attribute in one table whose value must either match the primary key in another table so look at employee table where we got the foreign key on the department number column so look at the last entry 7369 with the name of smith and with the department number of 20 where we made this department number 20 a foreign key and this 20 match the primary key of my table of department so now if a person ask me what is the department name of my employee of smith i can easily tell him that smith work in research department and his location is dallas why because i combine these two tables using primary key and foreign key so foreign key is an attribute like 20 whose value is matching with the primary key of my department number 20 in my department table so now you have an idea about primary key and foreign key now we are good to jump into our last section of join where we learn about how you can join two tables to have the different information